What's up, everyone? It's good to be back. After a couple months off, I was getting married, and I also worked on a show called The Amazing Race that had me traveling across Canada for an entire month. I am finally back into YouTube land, and I'm really excited to be getting back into the swing of this. I'm going to start this off with a very quick video addressing a very specific problem. So to avoid wasting any of your time, this is a specific problem with Melodyne and Pro Tools. I don't think it's going to necessarily affect any other DAWs. It might. So actually, if you're a Melodyne user, this might be useful. But specifically, Pro Tools and Melodyne users, this is an issue that just has driven me nuts. And I think I finally figured out what causes this issue and how to solve it. So I've got a session loaded up, ready to go. And the problem is that when you scan in audio into Melodyne, sometimes it uses the wrong algorithm. In my case, it is always defaulted to monophonic material, but every once in a while I want to tune some guitars or something polyphonic, and I need to then go and select the new algorithm and have it redetect all that audio. The problem is that sometimes those options for the other algorithms are unavailable. So let me show you. So I've got my guitar track here, and Melodyne has already scanned it in, but it used monophonic, as you can see here, melodic mode, and as of right now, I can select polyphonic, which is great. And usually that's the case, but every once in a while I do something wrong and that goes away and it's just grayed out. And I've seen other people have been Googling this too. So here is what happens. I'll break it for you. If I cut the clip and then say select this and try and do the same thing, now you see they're all grayed out, which is so annoying. But I think I understand it finally. If you look down here in the left, in this little gray kind of info section, you can see the name of the file that we're selecting. So if I click over here or over here, it's got a file name. But the thing is, is when I cut this, we made a new file name. So this one is 02, this one ends in uh, 0204, and this one ends 0205. And those are all different. And Melodyne, I think, no longer knows what it is working on once you have done that, once you have changed the actual file sitting in the, the viewer here in, in your timeline, uh, once that ID name has been changed, it's kind of confused. So, so I think that is why it doesn't know what to do. Knowing that, knowing that cutting and messing with the clips themselves is what causes Melodyne to kind of bug out, it makes it easier to avoid doing that and having this issue, period, which is great. But if you're already at this point and you can't just undo out of it, here's what you got to do. You just got to leave Melodyne and I've just been recommitting the entire track, but you could just do this with a region and you're just going to rescan it in. It'll of course use monophonic again if you've got it set to default to that. But then now, just before you do anything else, you just go set it to polyphonic decay in this case, which I find works best on guitars and problem solved. So really, it's more so about preventing the problem. And that just means get your algorithm chosen before you do any more editing in the waveform. But it's also not that hard to solve if you have already gone through and gotten to this grayed out section. Just take it off, put it back on is essentially what it boils down to. Hopefully that helps somebody out there because I definitely have Googled this way too many times because it happens so infrequently. But when it does happen, it just kind of grinds your session to a halt. So. Again, hope this helped. And if you liked it, do subscribe. If you want more Melodyne tricks, I've actually got another video with like four or five little speed tips that I use with Melodyne in Pro Tools that really help the workflow. And I'm going to make a little video on that probably coming out next week. So if you want some more of this kind of stuff, do subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. But real quick, if you want to level up your mixing or recording skills, check out the workshop down below, free workshop by The Self-Recording Band, which is a podcast that I co-host. My uh, amazing co-host, Benny, teaches it. It's called Standout Mixes, free workshop in the link down below. Okay, take care. Bye.